Hello. Uh, what can I say? A salvage job, really, from Arsenal. One all at Old Trafford. Um, the unbeaten run from the opening day of the season goes on. I'm not sure anyone could say it really deserved to. I mean, Arsenal would dire today. Let's start with the selection. Arsene Wenger made some big calls. Alexis Sanchez started up top, having passed his fitness test. Uh, Carl Jenkinson came in at right back. Uh, uh, midfield was really where the surprising selections took place. Mohamed El Nenny was picked alongside Francis Coquelin, meaning Granit Xhaka was effectively dropped uh, after the North London derby. And then Aaron Ramsey, who couldn't find a place in the central midfield, played from the left-hand side in place of Alex Awobi. Now, the Ramsey one's one I predicted and to an extent supported on the Askast Extra, if you listen to that. I thought that he'd be shifted out to the left. Awobi's not been in great form. And, you know, it's not, in theory, that different a role to the one Ramsey's played on the right-hand side so effectively. But uh, that did not work out at all. Ramsey struggled to deal with Antonio Valencia from a defensive point of view and just couldn't get into the game on the attacking side. As for Xhaka, as, uh, leaving Xhaka out, well, Anony and Coquelin worked hard. Coquelin in particular made some very good challenges during the game, but we did lack a bit of creative spark and I think Xhaka's range of passing is more akin to that of Cazorla. So, um, yeah, I think Wenger will reflect on that decision over the coming days. I do wonder, you know, he paid so much money for Xhaka um, and yet he's not, and nailed on first choice yet. Yeah, I wonder what it is he has to do to convince Arsene Wenger he should be in that spot. So Arsenal very, very poor. Um, in the first half, Czech made a couple of decent saves uh, to keep it at nil-nil. And then the second half, uh, Juan Mata goal. People talk about El Neni should attract him, Coquelin should attract him. That's probably true. But to an extent, it was a, a good cutback, good run and an excellent finish from Mata. But we were behind then and didn't really have a shot on goal in anger even, until kind of the 89th minute. Wenger was very slow to make his subs, waited till we went behind, brought on Olivier Giroud. I feared for a time he might leave it at that, but he did make further changes. Shaka came on, and then in what looked like a, a curious change, Oxlade Chamberlain came on uh, right back for, uh, for uh, Jenkinson. And that panned out brilliantly because Oxlade Chamberlain um, did kind of what Valencia did in the whole game, beat his man, drove to the byline, clipped in a brilliant cross. You know, he did a, he produced a brilliant ball. Sunderland a couple of weeks ago, this one was right up there. Um, and Giroud absolutely hammered home the header. Uh, De Gea left with no chance at all. So that was one all. I mean, I, there was four minutes stoppage time. At no point did I think maybe we can go on and win it. I was just thinking, let's hope we can hold on and not lose. We were that bad, really. We didn't deserve anything, but we still got something. And I guess, uh, you know, you'd have to reflect on that as a sign of character. You know, when the game approached the last five minutes, we could have panicked, but we we, we kept the ball and we created something out of nothing. Uh, huge credit to the substitutes who came on, Oxlade-Chamberlain and Giroud. Massive impact from them. They have been doing that in recent weeks. So credit where it's due. Be interesting to see how that influences the team selection uh, for Wednesday. Paris Saint Germain. I thought we saw today we're going to miss Hector Bella in a lot. Carl Jenkinson. I mean, he's a, a lovely guy and a decent player, but not really in the same class. Um, and Alexis's hamstring is a cause for concern. I mean, he didn't get into the game much today. There was as much to do with the service and Arsenal's team not functioning and dropping too deep. But one wonders was that hamstring playing on his mind. I think you know. As disappointing as the performance was today, to come away with a point feels miraculous and ultimately um, quite funny, really. You know, Mourinho should have got a big landmark win today, probably deserved to, and didn't in the end. Uh, so I think as fans, we've got to take satisfaction where we can, and that's where it is today. Anyway, I'll speak to you Wednesday. Cheers.